Greetings, Mac fans. Chris here with the third in a series of tips for Mac users looking to upgrade their computer for the first time. While some of this info may be old hat to you veteran upgraders, these are the tips I wind up giving most often to new upgraders. This third bit of advice is something you should do before you open your computer. Do your research. If you've never been inside your computer, it pays to get as much information as you can before opening it up. That way, you can see what sorts of things to expect when you finally do go inside. While for the most part, simple upgrades on the more common machines are usually pretty straightforward, other machines, notably iMacs, can be notoriously tricky with all sorts of interconnected parts and dozens of screws to try and reach. A quick search can find a variety of installation instructions which should give you at least an idea of what needs to be done. Most of the time, you'll get a list of tools you need and the basic steps to open things up. Be careful though, many instructions skip the reassembly part. It isn't always just doing the opening in reverse. Of course, if you want full step-by-step -step instructions from start to finish, OWC's own comprehensive set of installation videos can be found on both YouTube as well as on our website. The other part of doing your research is to make sure that the part you're upgrading with was designed for, or at least has been tested to work with, your Mac. This is especially true with memory. I can think of several instances where someone just found the cheapest RAM they could that theoretically had the correct specs and upon installation found that it just didn't work. Taking that extra time to guarantee the parts are all compatible will save you a lot of frustration when it comes time to install. Again, OWC can help you find the compatible upgrade options for your Mac via our My Upgrades utility on our website. So to sum up, doing your research before opening up your computer has several benefits. For installations, reviewing the process is always recommended since it allows you to see the whole process step by step and determine any potentially tricky parts before they occur. You'll also want to double check and make sure you're getting the correct parts for your Mac. They should be designed for or at least tested to work with your computer. We'll have more tips coming soon. Be sure to like and subscribe for further installments.